Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Cookie RC. I apologize for um, not being around for a while. I had some personal issues that I needed to attend to, but here we are again. I promise you that I will try to stay in tune with my subscribers and with my videos as much as I can. And because of that, I'm going to do a short video on the W.O. Toys 104001 unboxing and assembly. And what do I think about it and features that it has, stuff like that. I'm sure that there's plenty out there. I was trying to be one of the first ones to post one, but unfortunate circumstances happen and I just couldn't. So let's get right to it. It comes in a box that looks just like all the other boxes that come with the 124019, 144001, and so on. So um, let's get to it. And I'm making a mess over here. All right, so in the box, what do you get? The wing for one is disassembled. So you have the instruction book, right? There's a little instruction book. And um, yeah, nothing special. Just a normal W.O. Toys instruction book. Fairly detailed on, on assembly and disassembly of parts. Obviously, I'm not going to go into dismantling this thing. I'll do videos for that later. Here's the back wing. Um, it comes with a charger. Which I don't will not use, but it comes with it. Um, it also comes with the plastic tool. And some additional components in here. Plus the two little grommets that go to install the wing. Um little screwdriver and your conventional uh, nut remover that comes with W.O. Toys. Nothing special there. Let's see what we got in here. Then I already have it pre-disassembled because I wanted to save a little bit of time. I have the battery charging because I want to go take it out for a spin and see how it works. I've had this car for about two weeks now. I just haven't had time to um, post anything about it all right so it comes with the com in a box obviously um the conventional wo toys um remote or transmitter which uses four double a batteries we'll get to that in a second and um pretty much the same standard features as any of the other W.O. Toys cars, 101-44001 and 124019 came with the same one. Um, power button, nothing special. Steering trim, th throttle trim, uh, forward, forward reverse, and the usual springy uh, steering, which, you know, it's a, for a stock, it's plenty. So like like I said, it comes this, uh, disassemble, the wing comes disassembled, you have to assemble it. Um, I guess we could do that real quick. As part of a short little tutorial on how to install it and it has just two screws and we're going to use the screwdriver that comes with it so that we can save a little bit of time assemble this thing and so you can have a good idea of what it actually looks like assembled mm. I'm having a little bit of a hard time finding that goes. Nope. Just an easy. All right, I'm going to pause the video and get them started, and then I'll be back. All right, the wing is already installed. I did it off camera. It's nothing special. You just have to kind of start the screws in because they don't come they come pre-drilled but they don't have uh, uh grooves in them or uh thread so you have to kind of thread them in there yourself but it works out all right so it obviously comes with two clips um the two clips that it comes with are pretty conventional clips like these um bent which i like that bent clips and then it has its body Pretty nice little body. And here we go. Now one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the back wheels are different than the front ones. Obviously you've probably seen that before. The shocks look to be a little bit thicker. I'm not absolutely 100% certain 
I'm looking at the other ones. It does look like they're a little bit thicker than the other ones. All the components are slightly different than the 124 and the 144. The 124 was just like an extended 144. And they did a couple of improvements, but not much. And now these, I really do like the chassis on this one. It's all metal. It has some weight to it. Um, and it has these two guardrails over here. Unlike the 124 and the 144, which had the um, completely metal chassis. That's a nice little change. Um, center drive um, motor, which I liked for weight distribution. Um, what's in here, who knows, but that's probably going to get changed. I do like the meaty, sturdy dry shaft. It has a regular size servo. Um, it seems like it's very quiet and very responsive. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, the it does not look like it's going to be compatible with any of the uh, 124 or the 144001 uh, parts. It does look like this has a fan here, the but all in all, it looks like it's the same one that um that comes with the 144001 and the 124019 stock. So I wouldn't run this 3s. I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Um, other than that, I mean, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to take it out for a spin. Um, it has this heat sink on it. The ESC. The motor has a, a heat sink. The ESC has a fan on it, which is pretty cool. Center drive. It's a totally different concept than what they did with the 124 and the 144. So, we'll see how it works out. Um, I'll take it out for a test run and... See how she rides, and I'll see you later.